Hey, welcome back. So I've had a leak of coolant in my uh, 94 pickup for a while now. And I was thinking before, if you saw one of my other videos, that it was the water pump. I started looking at it more and I finally saw it trickle down. And so I thought it might be the thermostat. So I'd go with the $30 fix rather than a $1,000 fix first and see if that would... Uh, that might be the case and so I finally got the thermostat out and let me show you what I'm doing here and, and um, you can kind of take a look and see. Alright so I did drain the coolant out there's a, a drain on the bottom of my radiator so I was able to do that and I removed the one uh, hose that went to this uh, box for the AC kick up that way I can reach the three nuts down there um, pretty simple to get to just remove that one, but take a look at the thermostat housing. You can see how there's corrosion and wear kind of seeping out through the seal. Now, ideally, if that was sealed properly, there shouldn't be any of this crud kind of coming out. And as well as down in there, you can see kind of by those uh, studs, there's some grime around it. So hopefully I can get this all cleaned up and this will fix the issue where it was trickling down the side here and coming out on the driver's side of the truck. I know I've seen a lot of that. People say it could be the weep hole on the water pump. Hopefully it's just the uh, just the thermostat. All right, so it's all cleaned up. Ready to be reinstalled. Got the new thermostat, got the housing all cleaned up. You can see it just uses that O-ring style. The thermostat housing just kind of presses on that kind of crushes that to inside of there and that's what should do it so hopefully that was where the leak was and now that it's all kind of cleaned up it won't be leaking anymore and then after this i have to do my steering belt because it's kind of wobbly and cracked so that's going to entail a little bit more because i'm going to have to take off the fan the fan shroud housing and uh and get to that but let's get this back. All right, so we have it all back together. Um, the nuts just get tightened down to 14 foot pounds, so it's, you know, not super hand tight, not even really hand tight, just kind of snug. You can use a, uh... man, words. So, torque bar. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, this cold's getting to me. You could use a torque bar if you wanted to. I kind of was just kind of feeling when I had to break them free how much it took. So, and I just kind of put it back to that amount. I know that a good hand tight is about 30 pounds. So we'll just go about half-ish of that. So there is that, um, totally scientific. Put the bar back on, or the tube. Um, got all the hose clamps on. Did fill it up already to a point where it's there, uh, might have an air bubble in the system, probably do, so I'm gonna let this thing run for a few minutes until it cycles and the thermostat actually opens. But good news is, is that I haven't seen it drip down there. Normally when it's cold like it is, and it hasn't been warmed up, uh, and you give that tube, you give this tube a little squeeze, um, or even the lower one, it'll also start to drip out of there. So it's not doing that, could be because of an air bubble, or because it's fixed. So let's get this thing up on the driveway, run it through the cycle, make sure I can get all the air bubbles out. I do have a decent slope of a driveway, hard to tell here, but that will keep the calf at the highest point. So hopefully any of the air will get drawn up and out to that. I did use a 50-50 mix of red and distilled water, had a jug, put it in there. So I got a little pour spout and when I'm done, anything left over is just gonna go back into that one. So yeah, all right, let's do it. Well, got it up to temperature, got it on a slide incline so that the radiator uh, fill cap is at a higher point. Looks like I need to add just a little bit more now. Um, haven't had to add too much, but the interesting thing, uh, when I uh, moved it and put it here, what floated up to the top, I had to fish it out, was, uh, it looks like a gasket material. So I don't know if that was in there from the rebuild when the previous owner Rebuilt the motor and just left something in. Or if uh, that's an indication that something else went wrong. So, yeah. We'll have to see if it still leaks or not. It's been holding a temperature just fine. It's only just the fact that it's been leaking that's been the issue. Because uh, it kind of sucks to have it when it cools down. 
and it's only when it cools down. When it gets really cold, ever just since this winter, once it gets cold, it just starts leaking out the bottom. But once it's warmed up, it doesn't leak at all. So something somewhere, and I was hoping to seal that I replaced, was expanding when it was warm, sealing it back up, and then contracting when it got cold. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Otherwise, it's looking, it's looking good. We'll have to check once it cools up, of course. So now that it's warmed up, if it's not what I fixed, then it'll kind of mirror ugly head again, which will probably be the water. So I'm going to fill this up, and hopefully that's that for this. Well, that wasn't it. Right above my thermostat housing, I see it now. I finally found it. See that red flow in the center right there? Yeah, it's coming out of my uh, water pump. My water pump seal must be shot. Well, crap. And there goes all the coolant.